Hi guys, Mandy here, and I'm back with another uh, cloth pad review. Um, so remember, this is to do with menstrual cycles and periods and all that fun stuff. So if you don't want to listen in, you don't have to. Um, I'm really excited to talk about tree hugger cloth pads. Um, I stumbled upon them right after I had decided to go green and uh, do the green period. Um, if you watched my last video on uh, the Luna pads, you'll know that um, cloth pads, reusable pads, are exactly what they sound like. Um, cloth menstrual pads that instead of disposing of, um, you wash and reuse. Um, I decided to do it for the environment, yes, but also for my health. Um, disposable pads are filled with crap that our bodies don't need to be sitting in and ultimately it's your choice what you want to do um but for me um to go green i think has been a really awesome choice and i'm loving it <laughs> as funny as that sounds i get excited to have my period because um, it's just so much more comfortable. It there's no smell anymore. There is a smell with disposable pads, um, blood mixed with chemicals and bleach. It just doesn't smell pretty. Um, but with cloth pads, that is the number one thing that everybody says, and you don't believe until you try it. There is no smell. It's awesome. <laughs> They're comfortable. Um, you know, there's less leaks if you're doing it right, and it, it, in the long run, in the end, you will save money. It is a bit of a an, an upfront cost. Um, they're not cheap, but they last five to ten years, um, depending on which brand you buy and uh, how well you treat them. So today I'm talking about Tree Hugger, which I fell in love with. Um, they're prints, <laughs> no doubt. Look at these prints. Um, Shark Week. This is their a tree hugger. Um, this one is uh, um, fluffy pillow, fluffy pillows for my vagina. <laughs> I fell in love with the prints and I had to try it. Um, the company is awesome. They're amazing. Not only do they give back um, to the environment, being a reusable pad, but they also plant a tree for every pad sold. So that is a double whammy. Um, they also do something which I thought was really cool, and uh, they employ um, stay-at-home moms to actually sew the final product of the pad, and I thought that was really cool. Um, because Being a stay-at-home mom myself, I have always wanted to uh, find something that I could do at home and make my own money. So I am jealous and uh, excited for all the women who get to partake in this. I can't sew, so I would never be useful. <laughs> um, so I got from them, I ordered um, two sets. These were, um, these were the heavy uh, day flow sets. And um, this the ones I showed you previous are the overnight. So they are um, pretty um, easy peasy. Um, <laughs> what was I trying to say? Pretty straightforward. There we go. Um, you know, put it on just on your underwear, just like a normal pad. And they have really what I loved about them. They have the really big snap. So it was awesome. Snap it on and you're good to go. Now, something else that's really cool about these guys is they have a material inside um, their pad that is uh, called Zorb. I think that's how you say it. And it is actually the same material that is found inside of reusable um, baby diapers. So what makes reusable baby diapers absorbent, that material is the same thing that is inside each one of these pads. I thought that was super cool, something I had not seen when I was looking into other um, reusable pad companies. Um, they also have different materials for the top. Um, all the bottoms are the, the fleecy um, bit so it doesn't slide on your underwear and they don't, these bad boys stay in place. Um, but you can get bamboo tops, cotton, and I went with minky. Oh my gosh, think about a soft minky blanket. That's what these bad boys feel like on your vagina. They are amazing. I love, love, loved these pads. Now, 
my only thing, and I said this in my past um, video where I um, did a review for Luna Pads, which I love as well. Um, it is trial and error with um, cloth pads because every body is different. Every woman is different. Every flow is different. Um, so you kind of got to try and see which pad works right for you. And it's the same way with a disposable pad. Not everybody can wear an always thin day pad. <laughs> Like my flow is so heavy, this may be TMI, but when I was using disposable pads, I had to buy, and these only came out the um, since I had Emma, so okay, it has been 10 years, but I want my whole teenage life um, constantly bleeding through pads. I have a very heavy flow. And when I was pregnant with Emma, or shortly after, um, I found always overnight these big purple box, <laughs> <laughs> these huge honking pads I had to wear them during the day so because I have a heavy flow I have to on my heaviest flow I have to go with the bigger pad this is their postpartum overnight pad and um, this is the pad I have to wear when I have my heaviest flow um, they do say that this is overnight but I could not wear this overnight on my heaviest flow because it just didn't um, absorb enough. I actually was home wearing this during the day because I, that's why I bought it for the day. Um, I was running around doing a bunch of crap and I totally didn't think change your pad woman and I did leak I did leak right through but that was four hours on my heaviest flow um so I made a mental note trial and error and just said you know when you got your heavy flow girl you gotta change your pad more often I was just you know running around and that was a, an unusual thing like normally I would have done <laughs> that um but I just uh kind of you know forgot so that was my experience and that was my okay I can't wear these overnight um my still my go-to is um sorry where are you oh there you are my go-to overnight is still um gonna be the uh Luna pad that's uh because of their um little elastics um holders um and you can put this bad boy in this extra big thick piece of cloth um, that that's how I make it through my nights on my heaviest nights also to be noted this was their heavy day flow now I got this I wasn't sure what to expect and it was just too thin to be a heavy flow pad for me I will still use this bad boy. I spot and have a light flow at the beginning of my period and at the end. Um, and this was amazing for it because I didn't have to constantly be like changing, um, you know, like you would a panty liner or whatever when you're kind of spotting this. This bad boy was good. Good to go. Um, so that is worth noting. Not I still loved the hell out of this brand. I will buy them again. And um, yeah, that I just feel like that should be noted because um, I do have a heavier flow and I know I'm not the only one. And I don't want somebody to run out and buy uh, a heavy flow day pad and then, and then leak. That is my advice to you if you're a heavier flow. If you have a normal flow, this bad boy should be good and fine. Um, but it was just too narrow for me. I found that I was starting to leak out and uh, yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that with any pad. Um, and that happens to me with disposable pads too. But this was my second green period um no waste whatsoever i am so proud of myself for doing this because if i had have asked my uh if i had have said to my 13 year old self <laughs> you know you're gonna be washing pads and reusing them i'd be like you're disgusting and gross if you watched have watched any of my videos you know i'm a germaphobe and um i still um, learning what is in reusable pads, knowing um, that they're just going to the dump and rotting there for it, it's it, forever before plastic starts to decompose. It's 
it's ridiculous. Um, so I'm proud that I'm doing this for the environment. It might be something small, but it's helping. And I'm super proud that I'm doing this for me because um, it is the healthier choice. But like I said, everybody's different. Everybody's different. So you got to make your choice. And my best advice to anybody um, who is thinking, hmm, maybe I'd like to try it. Maybe I'd like to see if it's for me. Um, go to Tree Hugger's website and just, you can get singular pads. They do just have a one purchase pad. Um, grab a bamboo or, or a, a day pad cotton or whatever you would like to try and just integrate that to your period. When you are at home, um, because you know, like I said, everybody's different and uh, you got to kind of play around with how long can I get away with because I found that I couldn't quite get away with um, wearing a reusable pad as long as I would a disposable pad because disposable does have that plastic and it is stopping the your leakage um, in that way. Um, so you do have to change them a little more often, but in the end it's worth it. So just try, grab one that you think might be fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, reusable pad. It is fun. It is exciting. It really is. But I think you have to be in that frame of mind because I never would have thought this. Um, grab one, try it, see if you like it. And if you do, grab more. If you don't, then, you know, you haven't wasted a ton of money in your fine you got <laughs> use it as a rag I don't know anyways I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful and informative and um I'll see what I can do uh in the reusable pad video future bye for now